أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فاذكروني أذكركم واشكروني ولا يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله لا ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله بل أحياء بل أحياء ولكن لا تشعرون ولا نبلونكم بشيء وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا إنا لله إنا لله ورحمة وأولئك هم المهتدون Imam Hassan Sharif dedicated his life to this community the same community showing up to lay him to rest it was a packed mosque, but that did not stop worshippers from praying and showing support for the Imam's family. Outside, dozens of people held on to their faith and each other for comfort. City Councilman Youssef Salam among them. Everyone is feeling this pain. Everyone is, is, is um, saddened by what happened. You know, um, something like this should never happen. 
Imam Sharif was a victim of gun violence, something he fought hard to prevent. It was Wednesday morning he had just finished morning prayers at his mosque when he was shot twice while sitting in his car in the parking lot. Before the funeral, community leaders expressing their concerns and condolences. We call on, all, on the local authorities to spare no effort in finding the perpetrator of this heinous crime. The imam must be buried within three days of his death. What happened to him sent shockwaves through this community, but they say coming together like this to mourn also makes them stronger. His longtime friend, he will hold on to the last time he saw the imam alive. He was very outgoing, a very personable, very, very conscientious about the community in terms of trying to move it forward. And ironically, his stance was trying to rid the community of violence. Among the imam's last words were words of prayer, words of peace. And that's how he will be remembered. Even feeling overwhelmed with the pain of losing her father, the imam's daughter sends this message to his killer. To the killer, we'll find, they'll find you, I'm sure of it. In Newark. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi 
راجعون أولئك عليهم صلوات من ربهم ورحمة ورحمة وأولئك هم As you know, just because of, you know, trying to maximize the space in the Musalla area, um, uh, those that are performing the Salah, those who will be praying, Janaz Salah, meaning Muslims, inshallah, will be taking up the, the space um, on the main floor here, the Musalla area. Same thing for the sisters. The sisters that are praying Salah, they'll be taking up the place. Those that are not praying Salah, I'm not from among the faith, those who came as, uh, as uh, friends and, and well-wishers, inshallah, there's space downstairs, inshallah. The only reason why, because we want to get, we want to maximize the amount of folks that are praying in the Musalla area. If there's any official delegate from the city or the state, we honor to have you, inshallah, you can just uh, stand against the wall, and we thank you very much for being here. Um, for the sisters' bathroom, Sisters have the convenience, they have three bathrooms upstairs. You can utilize that for the brothers, you need the bathroom. There's like eight stalls downstairs, for one and two. So inshallah, and also the wudu downstairs inshallah. So you can have a seat inshallah, we have a couple more minutes. May Allah SWT bless us all to enjoy your stay. Thank you inshallah. It goes without saying that Imam Hassan Sharif is well loved and admired, and I'm sure you can see that inside. You'll see today for yourself, with a number of mourners pouring in from across New Jersey, New York, Philadelphia, and more. It is important to note the particular gravity of this horrific incident. Imam Hassan Sharif was a community leader. If our leaders who enjoy a higher profile, higher profile, are being targeted and killed. At a time when anti-Muslim bigotry is on the sharp rise, there is no saying what sorts of dangers and harms our community and the Masjid Muhammad community especially is vulnerable to. Our elected officials need to do better and we cannot pretend that their harmful narratives, amplified by egregiously imbalanced reporting and inaccurate reporting from outlets like the New York Times relating to Muslims, including and especially black Muslims, over the last several years, in the last few months especially, have had no effect. Law enforcement needs to do better. We call on authorities and urge them once again to do their due diligence in investigating this incident. This is not just another day of violence anymore. This incident has shaken our community to its core. It's shaken the Muslim Muhammad community, and most importantly, it's shaken the Imam's family. Our safety and the safety of the Imam's family and the Muslim Muhammad community are at stake. We call on Masajid, we continue to call on Masajid across the state to keep their doors open while simultaneously remaining cautious. This is not a time to close our doors. Our communities are hurting and the only way forward is together. You'll hear today from those closest to Imam Hassan Sharif, who will tell you who he was as a person. But before we begin, I want to highlight a few housekeeping items. Please note that press will not be allowed into the Masjid during the Janazah prayer. We have a lot of time at the end for a brief Q&A. Immediately following the janazah or funeral prayer, we will proceed to Rutland Memorial Park in East Hanover for burial proceedings. That's, Ru that's Rustland Memorial Park, R-E-S-T-L-A-N-D, at 77 DeForest Avenue, East Hanover, New Jersey, 07936. Please note that there will be no questions or comments at the burial. Our first speaker will be Sami Shaban. S A M I, last name S H A B A N, representing the New Jersey Muslim Coalition. Our second speaker will be Imam Dawood Khan. That's D A U D H A Q Q, and he is the president of Imam's Council of New York. Our third speaker is Dr. Tony Alamin. That's T O 
N Y. Last name A L dash A M I N. And he is the president of Masjid Muhammad. And finally, we'll hear from the daughter of Imam Hassan Sharif, that's T A, that's Tanaja Ransom. T A N A S I A Ransom R A N S O M. And my name is Dina Said Ahmed, communications manager of Here in New Hello, everybody. My name is Sammy Shaban. That's S A M I S H A E A N. I'm here representing the New Jersey Muslim Coalition, a coalition of approximately 100 mosques, masajid, and centers from across New Jersey. Imam Hassan Sharif's killing has sent shockwaves across not just the Muslim community in New Jersey, but the Muslim community across all of New Jersey and in fact the whole nation. To give you an idea of just how deeply loved the Imam was, nearly $200,000 has already been effortlessly raised to support the Imam's funeral costs and the family. This amount was raised within just a few hours of his killing. And as today, you can see the hundreds if not thousands of congregants that have come together to bid, his fin to bid him final farewell. The Janazah prayer inside is only a few moments long. It doesn't even involve a prostration to the ground. It's a very, very quick prayer. But yet people have traveled from hours across state lines, from all over the area, to be a part of this. Imam Hassan Sharif had that type of pull. This is a man who was taken from us well before anyone could have imagined. Our community is reeling. Not only are we mourning the profound loss of Imam Hassan, who was a gem and a brother to so many of us, but we are also simultaneously trying to make sense of the bigotry and hate that's targeting not just him, but many Muslims around New Jersey and around the country. We have no safety and no refuge within New Jersey right now, and we're looking for our law enforcement to help. We call on all law enforcement to thoroughly investigate this incident and to bring justice to Imam Sharif's loved ones and to the whole community at large. If anyone has any information pertaining to this incident, we urge you to report it immediately to the Newark tip lines and to CARE. This cannot be the norm. We cannot stand by while Muslims, and especially our leaders, are targeted and killed. Our pain will not be in vain. We will mourn our loss and emerge from this stronger and better because that's who we are as Muslims and we will not accept this as defeat. Personally, as someone who's lost over 15 people in Gaza, I stand here with Imam Sharif's family. The loss that, we're, that so many Muslims are experiencing from overseas cannot make its way to this side. We need to do better as a community. I pray that God heals our wounds and consoles our grief. May we see the day that Muslims and all people are no longer targets, but instead safe at their homes, massages, and even on the street, at their schools and jobs. Amen. Thank you. In the name of Almighty God, Allah, who is most gracious and most merciful, greetings and peace to all. My name is Dawood Ha. That is D-A-U-D-H-A-Q-Q. -Q. I am the head of the Imam's Council of Noor. I'm also the president of Tri-State Imam's Council and also the Imam of this masjid, NIA Masjid and Community Center here in our great city of Noor. Today I stand before you a very heavy heart as you mourn the loss of our dear brother, a life that was taken from us so quickly, too suddenly, and senselessly. The individual who shot and killed our Imam has no regard for human life. 
has no regard or consideration for human life. And as the Quran says, he who unjustly takes a life, it is as though he has taken the life of all humanity. And he who saves a life, it's as though he saved the life of all humanity. Indeed, this deeply troubled individual who killed our Imam did not just kill one person. He has killed someone who has filled the position of Imam, leader of his community, husband, father, brother, and friend. So one who was an example for the youth in our community genuinely care for all those around him. The one who laughed, whose laugh was loud, and his spirit was light. Given the tenuous atmosphere and sharp rise in anti-Muslim bigotry and violence that we have seen over the last couple of months, this incident has left our community feeling very apprehensive and concern. Our masjids are meant to be spaces of safety, like all religious spaces. Our Imam Sharif's murder directly violated that space of safety and sanctity when he shot the Imam at the door of the masjid as he exit for prayer. We therefore call on relevant authorities to provide our community with adequate security, especially our houses of worship. It cannot become a norm that we meet our faith when we gather at our places of worship to pray. It goes without saying that the Imam's Council of North NIA Masjid also categorically condemned the atrocious shooting and murder of our brother Imam Hassan and we vehemently denounce and condemn the bigotry and resulting culture of violence that has tightened and seemed to tighten the grip on our city and our country. We also call and demand justice for Imam Hassan Sharif, his family, and the Muslim community here in Noor, especially. We call on all on the local authorities to spare no effort in finding the perpetrator of this heinous crime. So to anyone who may have information of this murder, I'm pleased that they should contact the North Tips Line, contact the police, contact CARE, and so we can apprehend this person. And before I end, I want to make it very clear that this incident, while it is heartrending and frightening, it will not stop us from fulfilling our duty as Muslims and gathering as we gather today in the house of Almighty God will not prevent us from gathering in the houses of Almighty God Allah because this incident while it hurt us it will not break us and I pray that Almighty God Allah safeguard and protect our leaders and our community and we lay rely on him for Muslims for all our affairs, and we ask that and pray that he would remove the disease, the diseases of bigotry, of racism, and of violence from our city and from our community and from our country and from our streets and from all places of worship. Thank you.
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alaikum salam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Again, peace and blessings from Allah Almighty.
that person. I think his daughter covered it pretty well. She said that her father was well loved. He did not cover it. He said that uh, he may have killed him, but he actually prolonged his life for us. Uh, that's what we have to say to them. He didn't kill somebody. He, he might still with us in our actions and what we do in our prayers.
Assalamu alaikum, Dawn. Love you. Love you, sis. Come 
right here in the city of North, which was put together. Shout out to Mayor Raz Barack, and he's doing a terrific job. We support him, he supports the Imam. Right, a thousand and ten percent. And all the clergy of our Mayor's Clergy Alliance team has been out here pushing for calmness in the community, and we want respect for everybody, for Muslims, for Christians, for Jewish people, and we're going to see that these culprits will come to justice.
let me explain it. The dangers of entertainment is like they kill you quicker when you're famous. Always for off a P is for people, and that's simple. The last P is what we shall get into. Fuck it. It's sort of like who well, when once they catch another set that's slipping. And they don't grab the grips and get the tripping. Yeah, that's hard to do when folks are beefing with the hood that you claiming. Like you might have to do some explaining. Fuck it. You ever caught your eyebrow creeping thinking he was low? Hey, you can send 100 shots like through his driver dope. You show your face, you give a pass, and you leave it alone. He has a son, you have a son, they both want y'all at home. That's not a fun and F to the R to the O to the N to the T. It's just we know how this shit ends in cemetery. That's OPP, we're off of people, peace you with it. We way above that hating shit, we want y'all all to get it. How many niggas are here really down for fixing that? Me killing you, you killing me, won't bring our nigga back. If you agree, let's take the lead and lead this foolishness. And live in peace, that's the coolest shit. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. You down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Kill each other when we come to a difference Been the strongest for the longest What would have been the outcome If the government never got this nation to kill Malcolm I won't get into that Because I know that it will probably lead to more division And have niggas unfollow me Cause they gon' think it's a diss They never throw a diss back to me When it's actually fact You see this government has never wanted us as intellectual Hence the media's violent and hypersexual Erase our history and do it so improperly We think having Jordan's more important than having property I can't afford them in the mirror hating who I see Consequently I hate you too cause you look just like me Mama can't feed me, I'ma grab the squeegee I'ma go donkey, Mario and Luigi Nigga talk breezy, shit might get egregious I might pull that polar screen, watch niggas get Fiji And I ain't with the negativity, TV, believe me I'll be out the way where you should leave me You down with OPP? You down with OPP? You down with OPP? Who's down with OPP? You down with OPP? You down with OPP? You down with OPP? Who's down with OPP? Now who you thought you got the bully? Put the fully to your hoodie. That ain't how we stepping no more. Aye, little Brody was goody. You didn't had one too many. I don't like that shit. Got a spot to kill each other for some white man shit. You really tried to play me like one of the loud mouthers. Like I ain't really the alpha amongst you alpha. The way the power erases a man's browser He forgets he's a coward Can't do nothing about it You're damaging the public Couldn't work with Nana Republic Little man eating mustard Asking me for a budget Bring me eight, keep the two I skate, you skate too Sounds horrible to you But it's what we were taught to do Consolation, no one sunned him Since we started that go fund him He been stunting in abundance All that broke shit's repugnant Cause we gon' live a lot and give a lot And turn these two pox back to chicken pox They have no benefit How cunning your enemy Give you religion that tells you You should be indigent the FDA approves poison in the food we eat, but we gon' kill the niggas down the street. You